this nugget gives an introduction to ecosystems. What is an ecosystem? An ecosystem describes a natural system where living things, for example plants and animals, interact with each other and their non-living environment. An ecosystem can be any size, from as small as a pond or a woodland to as large as an ocean or a desert. The living components of an ecosystem, such as animals, insects, plants and bacteria, are referred to as biotic, and non-living components, for example climate, weather and soil type, are called abiotic. Each aspect of the ecosystem, whether biotic or abiotic, interacts with the others and is reliant on them. For example, the climate will determine how effectively rock is weathered and organic matter decomposed, therefore influencing the soil type. It will also determine which plants and animals can survive. In turn, the soil also influences which plants will thrive, and which animals use them as a food source. Once plants and animals die, they are decomposed, and nutrients are returned to the soil. This is known as interdependence. Let's delve a little deeper into the connections between the biotic elements of an ecosystem, and look at food chains. Here we have a typical woodland ecosystem, where many organisms rely on each other for food and energy. We can show simple feeding relationships as a food chain. Each layer of a food chain has a name. The producer at the start is a photosynthesizing organism, usually a plant. Everything after this is called a consumer. Primary consumers are herbivores or omnivores. We then have secondary, and tertiary consumers, and occasionally a quaternary consumer. A food chain shows how the energy is passed through the system. In this example, the grass stores energy from sunlight through photosynthesis. When the mouse eats the grass, the energy passes through the food chain, with the arrow showing how this energy is transferred from one organism to the next. In this case, from the mouse to the owl. Within an ecosystem, there are many food chains. Here is another example. The tree produces food, again through photosynthesis. The energy gets passed through the food chain to the butterfly, the robin and the red kite as each organism is eaten by the next. Here is another example of a food chain, where the tree produces energy, which is passed to the aphid, and onwards to the ladybird, robin and red kite. As you can see, there are many feeding relationships, even in a simplistic representation of an ecosystem. If we look at those food chains next to each other, you can see that they all have a food producer at the start of the food chain. In reality, each organism rarely relies on just one source of food, as we can see with the robin appearing in more than one food chain. We can better represent these feeding relationships in a food web. We now have a better overview of the feeding relationships in this view. Notice that the producer is still at the start of the food web. How do these biotic food chains and webs link to the abiotic environment? When plants and animals die, they are broken down by detritus feeders such as worms and microorganisms like fungi. Once this happens, the energy and nutrients are returned to the soil to then be taken back up by the producers and moved along the food chain once again. Ecosystems must be delicately balanced to remain stable. This is known as being in equilibrium. Equilibrium can be disturbed by changes made to any part of an ecosystem, 
which will then go on to affect the other biotic and abiotic elements of the ecosystem, making it unbalanced. For example, human-induced climate change causes changes in temperature and precipitation, which will impact the plants and animals in an ecosystem. Deforestation reduces both nutrient input and protection for the soil, resulting in a lower quality soil for the plants in that ecosystem. In summary, an ecosystem describes a natural system of any size where living things or biotic elements interact with each other and their non-living or abiotic environment. Food chains and food webs show how energy is passed through the ecosystem. They are made up of producers and consumers. Each aspect of an ecosystem is interdependent and the ecosystem maintains a fine balance called equilibrium. Equilibrium can be disturbed by changes made to any part of an ecosystem, which will then go on to affect the other biotic and abiotic elements of the ecosystem. Keywords Organism – any living thing Biotic – living factors within the ecosystem Abiotic – non-living components Interdependence – the reliance of all aspects of an ecosystem on the others Food chain – a diagram representing simple feeding relationships in an ecosystem Food web – a diagram representing complex feeding relationships in an ecosystem. Photosynthesis, a metabolic process that uses the sun's energy to combine carbon dioxide with water to produce glucose and oxygen. Producer, an organism that makes its own food from the sun, for example plants. Consumer, an organism that eats another organism, for example a caterpillar. Decomposer, an organism that breaks down the remains of dead organisms, for example a worm. Equilibrium, a state of balance within an ecosystem between biotic and abiotic factors.